Maybe we should have Ben Diesel crash a whole fucking garage by just stomping on it or some shit. Oh, dude. Was that the one with the yeah. whole garage collapsed on his face? Yeah. Family! <laughs> Family, help! Family! Family! Well, what's good, everybody? It's your boy K here. And I'm A Direct. You know, that new Hobbit and Summer movie just dropped, so it got us thinking a little bit. It is still an extension of the Fast and Furious universe and stuff like that, and now there's like nine of them bad boys out there. Same number as Star Wars, like mm -hmm. I said, the full review. But yeah, so we were like, damn, why don't we do get stoned well, and... there's 11 Star Wars fucking anthologies. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, yeah fuck those things. That don't count anyway. Well, damn it. People don't count either, but fuck those things. <laughs> But yeah, there's nine fucking Fast and Furious joints. We were like, damn, let's get stoned and let's think about it and then maybe rank these bad boys. We almost fucking blew, had our heads explode trying to remember what the fuck dude, happened to all these things. I was over here, man. You know that meme of like the dude, the, the lady trying to like do math and calculus? That was me. Okay, which one was which? <laughs> which one is this? Wait, which one they fought this one? Yeah, wait, which one was the sixth one? Which one they fought the tank in? Like, well, which one, one was they... the seventh one? <laughs> well, which one was the fifth one? No, no, I remember. Yeah, I remember some of them. But like, I was like, yo, which one was which? Yeah, I just have to remember like that. What's done happening each one of these movies? Yeah. There's always a big Stunt happened mm -hmm. so far. I was like, Gmon was in which one? He was in the, he was in the second one, right? Mm, no, shit, no. None of that shit, none of, no character, none of that shit matters, just the stunts. So we pretty much got together and like ranked all the stunts that we like from all these Fast and Furious joints. So I mean, starting off with, I mean, it's pretty obvious what the number nine joint is probably gonna be because everybody is pretty consistent with it. Even right. people who were in the movie considered mm -hmm. that shit like that. Yeah. Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift, the biggest piece of shit out of this fucking universe and stuff. Yeah. Mostly because you got rid of all the cast that everybody liked. Yeah. No Vin Diesel, no yeah. Paul Walker, mm -hmm. not even no, no Tyrese. Vin Diesel was in there at the end. For three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you instead you get, what's the name? Luke, what's the name? Luke? Luke is Luke black. Luke can yeah. No! <laughs> Luke is black. Luke is black. <laughs> yeah, that's your star and I'm like, God, That's man. the super hick in Japan. Mm -mm. My that man. work. <laughs> And then you had Bow Wow team up with him. Can't do shit either. That was when Bow Wow was his star was already fading at mm -hmm. that time. Yeah. He's already a D level actor. Mm -hmm. stuff. Well, no actor wise, he's an S F. But it's too far. Stop. No, not like S. A. S is higher than A. No, I said F. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that movie was fucking garbage. I mean, they tried to focus more on like the street race and stuff, but I was like, damn, these characters are just not well, good enough. The to drifting carried that movie, and that was it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of the new thing they're trying to introduce right. is drifting because mm -hmm. none of the fast movies gave a shit about that stuff. Yeah. But yeah, I'm like, damn, you gotta work on your characters though first, because it's not stupid like these, like how they get later on in the franchise, mm -hmm. and it's not none of this character wise no, it, stuff. No, it's tonally, it still had some something from the first from two the movies. First two, yeah. yeah, this is still based on the street racing shit. Yeah, pretty basic. That's our number nine joint. Yeah, we share that one. Mm -hmm. yeah. We always got the same number nine joint because it's a consistent thing. <laughs> like the last one is always garbage. Yeah. But yeah, number eight joint, what you got for it? Number eight, I have uh, the first Fast and Furious, which is called The Fast and The Furious. Oh, wait, is it it's The Fast and The Furious? The, okay, the, fast, the fast and The Furious. And Furious. No, The Fast and The Furious. These names got tricky after a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, damn, that's, that's that low on your list? What kind yeah. of hot up there mine's? Yeah. It's, uh, and the reason is because just the set pieces later on, what it transformed into. And for the same reason that I ranked Reservoir Dogs for Quentin Tarantino so low, you can mm -hmm. check out that that ranking. But it's like it's such a it's, it's the first, it's the foundation, mm -hmm. and not that it's bad. Just the other ones are better. It's good yeah. for film, but there's not mm -hmm. like I like I, I know what you're talking about. There's mm -hmm. no big moments that you like. Oh, right. Damn, I remember that one. But just as a film, it, it actually had a cultural impact. Mm -hmm. um, at that time, the ability to get parts for that kind of street racing was becoming more accessible mm -hmm. and like more people were doing it. Oh yeah, I wanted to be a street racer. That, yeah, that, that's back when painting flames in your car was not considered a dumb, idiotic move mm -hmm. whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, back, way back in 2001. Yeah, I'll keep it though into like the top three movies mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm talking about like the all franchise. We're gonna keep it yeah. in number nine. My number eight is gonna be number two. Okay. Too Fast, Too Furious. Oh, okay. Cause like I love Vin Diesel in the first one, and then yeah. they're like, "Yeah, you know, take that motherfucker out yeah, and replace him with Tyrese." Goddamn it! I'm like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> this corny ass motherfucker. Yeah. Who just came in that movie and screamed the entire yeah. fucking time. Yeah. And then like Paul Walker, I liked him and stuff, but he was more of a side character. Or a side yeah, character. I mean, he's not. His character wasn't designed to carry a film at ever at any point mm -hmm. in this uh, in this series. And they tried to shoehorn that shit into the second one. Yeah, because in the first one, he's like, he's a cop, mm -hmm. but like he's got a past. Like he used to be a criminal, right? In the yeah. first one, but in the second one, he's like he's full cop mode, mm -hmm. but he's undercover. 
And so it's just a, it's a whole different thing. Yeah. yeah. He just supposed to be there to service Vin Diesel in the first one mm-hmm. and stuff. Now without Vin Diesel, I was like, damn, this is kind of weak. Bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh man, we're missing the muscle up in up in these muscle cars. <laughs> well, Brian was a import driver anyway. Yeah. From I mean, the, I like uh, the imports better than mm-hmm. muscle and stuff, but I I just couldn't get behind this movie. <laughs> yeah. So number what seven joint around now? What yeah. be yours? Number seven, mine is too fast, too furious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just uh, I actually liked it. For like car wise, I liked it a little bit better. Focus more on the cars because at the beginning they have that street race with uh, with Tej, uh, Ludacris' character, mm-hmm. and several characters. Yeah, I, 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 yeah I, I mean, you look at it, it hasn't aged well at all. You look at it now, you're like, oh Jesus, CGI cars. <laughs> so, but, I mean, I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. <laughs> that shit looks terrible. Yeah, at the time they they were they were expanding the world of the street racing. I think because mm-hmm. like you can't forget where these movies started. Like you say, it started street racing. Yeah, they expanded on a little bit of that world. They showed the cops or the police like adapting because they had that, they were shooting that like electronic thing from the helicopter. Oh yeah, like, the to stop dis- car. Yeah, to, yeah. De- uh, to deactivate your car, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, for it was those little things. I was like, oh, it's, a, it's a little bit better than the, yeah. than the first one. Yeah, and I was talking about that shit like, oh yeah, my first one will be higher. It's just right here, so it's not that no. much higher. Because <laughs> yeah, pretty much the same reason. I'm like, yeah, it's not really that memorable in terms of like big stunts or nothing mm-hmm. like that. But that, like, that was the first one where I like, damn, after I watched it, I'm like, damn, I'm gonna be a street racer when I grow mm-hmm. up. And that's all you, everybody dying from. I'm like, oh, yeah. never mind, that's a stupid idea. Oh, oh, like, <laughs> you don't make fifty thousand dollars every time you race. There's a considerable amount of the population who are around our age. We drive like we're in fast and furious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> hundred miles we, no an hour. No matter what freeway. kind of car we're driving, yeah. So that's the only time I live living now, like through that shit. But yeah, mm-hmm. it was a fun movie to just get that street racing vibe to it. Cause I was I always loved the Need for Speed games and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. It was like that finally making it to the big stream because Need for Speed movie fit. Oh, <laughs> that shit was awful. Oh, that movie was terrible. <laughs> so that, that's the fact that we're gonna be the closest thing we ever get to a good street racing movie. Yeah. And that's the last of all the street racing movies, basically, too, because yeah. Fast and Furious just went to a whole new direction after Man, that shit. Yeah. Um, I liked the uh, what's your what. My number six is, uh, that was it for your number Yeah, five? that was it for my number six, okay. Fast and, yeah. The Fast and the Furious. So number oh. six would be... My number six is Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah, I about to say the same thing. Yeah. Kind of like Hobbs and Shaw better than any of the other one because it's not as ridiculous yeah, and stupid. Yeah, it, it doesn't have, it's, it's not as tight as the other ones from mm-hmm. like, and just an overall filmmaking perspective, uh, story-wise. Yeah. And even stunt-wise, like some of the stunts are a little like... More toned down. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's that and they're just, they just rely on CGI to the point where it's like, bro, yeah, but I mean, they, they all have CGI, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's noticeable as fucking this. Yeah. But at the same time too, it's still a fun of hell movie and stuff. Yeah, Rock and Jason Statham chemistry pretty much carried the mm-hmm. whole thing. This is probably the threshold for like the fun to like uh, mindless fun to like uh, enjoyment like mm-hmm. ratio or whatever. Yeah, this is like the threshold for that. Yeah, it's a good palate cleanser for get you ready for all the madness shit that you're gonna yeah. see later on in the Fast and Furious shits. Yeah, because then number five joint would probably be for you. Yeah, my number five is uh, it's actually Fast Eight. Um, okay, the, most, the last one. Yeah, okay. um, uh, Fate of the Furious. Excuse mm. me, Fate of the Furious. Yeah, don't be like that little kid that was in the fucking yeah. thing. Oh, the name all the Fast and Furious movies: Fast and Furious, Two fa- Fast and Furious Two, Fast and Furious. Sit down. Like bitch, you don't know none of these names. Sit down. But uh, Fate of the Furious, and I, it's ranked low because it's just a bit better story wise, but they still have some really crazy things like. The World War Z zombie car thing. I enjoyed yeah. it, but it was like, come on, guys. What is it was kind of dumb. And I really didn't like the Cypher and them, their whole storyline. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what the fuck they were trying to do. They I don't either. Yeah, I don't shit. either. Um, well, the thing, I got to go back to that. This world, I call it World War Z zombie cars because I, yeah, feel, when they like, hacked all the cars. I feel like they just took the script. Like, uh, in CGI, you use scripts sometimes. I feel like they just took the, uh, the, the computer code for that and, like, replaced the people with cars. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they stole that shit from nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then I thought like the whole thing where he was the evil bad, Vin Diesel was the evil bad guy. Yeah, I actually stupid. like that angle. I thought I, it was kind of dumb as uh, Like, though. I mean, I thought like for where this franchise is going, you're on your eighth film, mm-hmm. and, you know. For, what, what you gonna do different? And stuff yeah, like it's like where, how are you gonna switch it up now? And so in the tra- in the trailer, I'm speaking of the sentiments of the trailer here. When I when like they're like whoa who is this and he takes off the mask and it's it's uh, Toretto I'm like oh yeah that was interesting though but I thought I, like because like, all I'm thinking is how did they how did they flip it mm-hmm. you know I thought they could have done an interesting more interesting manner and stuff yes and the way they did it and I'm like damn bro you could kind of you know how they did it you could just tell your friends uh, you know hey, how bro <laughs> yeah, you know how they did it family <laughs> his weakness mm-hmm. <laughs> and all these motherfuckers well, yeah. his weakness his strength his yeah. kryptonite like god damn this thing is everything this motherfucker family's <laughs> everything. But yeah, yeah uh, that's my number uh, five. Yeah, what was that? Five past eight? I'd mm-hmm. probably say mine's just 
Yeah, for probably same thing, fast. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Same reason. So what, number four? Or number something? four, yeah. My number four is going to be Fast and Furious. That is the fourth film. I liked the transition because there had been a few years from three to four. To from Tokyo Drift to Fast and Furious, yeah, yeah. they weren't sure they're gonna continue that franchise, yeah, because like, 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 yeah, yeah, they were worried, but they brought everybody back. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the jump from it, it was still connected to hey, you guys are like the baddest street racers, and you and you know, cars, and you can soup cars up, mm -hmm. and this and that. I was like, okay, it was all like within the realm of uh. I didn't have to suspend my disbelief yeah. by a thread. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't like um, how they get later on the movie. Like, right, okay. it, it was a cartel thing, and I, I think at that time, cartel movies weren't overdone. They were, it was like right on time. Yeah, and so. it fit what they were doing in like the first couple of movies and stuff too. Mm -hmm. They were, they were criminals, but they were street right. They were still criminals. And right, stuff. and it just kind of took the criminal aspect of their thing to the next level. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's kind of why I start to not like these ones. I mean, not like them, but uh, get ridiculous. Mm -hmm. my, my number, what we on four? We're on four. Wait, yeah. wait. my number four is what uh. What that shit called? Fast and Furious Six, I think it was. Yeah. Whenever they did Luke Evans and shit, I was like, yes. "Why the fuck are y'all calling these street racers?" Yeah. This shit, bro? yeah. Seriously. <laughs> this is ridiculous. That yeah. ain't the save the world business and shit. The Rock. All right, Toretto. <laughs> I need your team. Like, what were they? What kind of team were you talking about? They just they just <laughs> run a chop shop, dude. Like, y'all you know, have like special agents to do all this kind of shit and stuff. Like, what the fuck? We need your driving skills, bro. Like, really? Driving skills didn't but really matter. It was funny, though, that the villains had, like, mad driving skills, and they had these, like, souped-up mm. cars themselves. Yeah, I like the so, ramp cars. Oh, that, that was so, cool. Yeah. That was really cool. Um, and they, they had a great sequence. They didn't waste it. They didn't have just some one-off sequence. Mm. They had a nice sequence in several cars to show you what was going on there. I believe Justin Lin did Fury, Fast and Furious 5... Four, five, six, and three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, and six. Oh, damn, Justin yeah. Lin did three, four, five, and six. Yeah, Tokyo Drift. Um, and then he came and then he begged him, please don't kill me. I'll, I'll do the next one right. And uh, I don't know. I'm just kidding. But uh, this is his franchise. Yeah, his franchise. Yeah. He, he, he got a better. Uh, but I did appreciate, which one? I said six. Yeah, six. six yeah. I did appreciate it, though, because that's where they start getting fucking ridiculous with yeah. it. And they start fighting tanks and shit mm -hmm. in their car. That yeah. tank scene was pretty fun, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, it got ridiculous, though, when they, the catch scene. The like, Superman <laughs> catch. <laughs> Superman catch. I'm going at X miles an hour. You're going at Y miles an hour. <laughs> but my X miles an hour is more powerful. Love and family, son. Yep, that's yeah. when we start with another family is a powerful weapon and yep. shit. Family, lady, family, <laughs> family, lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my amnesia went away. I remember. <laughs> well, now we at number three joints. Yeah, so what's yours? Three. Yeah, my number three is gonna be. Um, Fast and Furious 7. Okay, yeah. I, I'm agree with you. Come out yeah. 7 too. Mm -hmm. That's when they just fucking lost their goddamn mind. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, that was the... Decker that, Shaw's first un one. Unfortunately, uh, Paul Walker passed away when they still had a bit of filming left to go. Mm -hmm. And... They got his brothers um, come in and shit. Yeah, they got his brothers come in. Who we were saying this. All oh, his brothers do look a lot like him. Mm -hmm. Mapping Paul Walker's face onto them shouldn't be the... It shouldn't be a nightmare fuel kind of adjustment and yeah it, it wasn't you could tell in certain, certain scenes in yeah. certain scenes especially towards the end when he had that fucking oh, halo around. yeah the halo with that halo <laughs> and then the scene where he's like running the bus is like uh falling over the cliff oh, yeah that machine gun bus mm -hmm. i mean that whole thing was cgi probably anyway but you could really see um kind of like they might have they were using probably his brother probably did that yeah. motion capture or whatever to, to set the clean plate but yeah uh, fast and furious 7 very enjoyable. Yeah. yeah. Like like how we said that Hobbs and Shaw didn't go fully there. Oh, this one went full there and said yeah. full retard. Right yeah, because it's like it got to the point where it's like, guys, we're running out of like things to do. Maybe we should just go. Maybe all we should out. jump a car from the Dubai Towers or some <laughs> shit like that. I don't, I don't fucking know. Maybe we should have producer a just grab his nuts and just like uh <laughs> put them on the wall. Maybe we should have Ben Diesel crash a whole fucking garage by just stomping on or some shit. Oh, dude, was that the one with the, <laughs> yeah. the whole garage collapsed on his face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Family, help! Family, <laughs> family. Yeah. yeah, that shit was ridiculous. Cause even the part where uh, Decker saw and like him went face to face and like yeah. the car and just bow, like oh, that. Oh, like, nah, fucking cars work, dude. Dude. <laughs> but, like, oh no, where we break the front. Yeah, like, you're still gonna be dead. nah, dude. <laughs> nah, bro. Your eyeballs would have popped out of your skull, bro. <laughs> G forces don't play. Yeah, they don't. Negative yeah. G-forces, excuse me, all you physicists out there, negative G-forces don't play. Yeah, and yeah. that's when The Rock finally started getting that superhuman healing and shit like mm -hmm. that, too. Because he, he got beat, his ass beat by Deckard Shaw for the first time yeah. in there, and then he's like, damn, I, they need my help. 
<laughs> like I don't think bones heal that way, but well, okay. Um, what I what I was excited for in Fast Seven was the trailer uh, with showing us uh, showing us Jason Statham because remember Jason Statham career went through a lull there. Yeah, he was doing B level movies. Yeah, wow. like he was doing a he did a movie called Wild Card, just awful. He was doing transporters, mechanics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was the mechanic <laughs> resurrection. It's like oh lord, uh, oh god, what's happening? But I he, I never like. I feel like he never lost it. Mm. With, with he was still good. Yeah, he was still good. He was just like, doing taking shitty roles. I was like, man, God, you have a little drought going on. But they brought him back on for this, and now he's, you know, the rest is history. So mm -hmm. his number two, my number two is Fast and Furious 6. Uh, I like Fast and Furious 6. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, the one I, I that was the To me, that's where the set pieces, that was the last one that Justin Lin directed for them. And he's actually coming back for 9 and 10, for what that's worth. But, yeah. Um, that that's where I felt like he reached. He was at he was in peak form for him. Mm -hmm. This is not that was not the peak form of the series, but uh, he was in peak form for himself. He found what he wanted to do, and I'm sure like he had a great relationship with the producers. I didn't feel like there was a ton of meddling. Yeah, and I didn't feel like there was 18 different people trying to <laughs> make this thing happen. Yeah, yeah, they give him like free reign. I kind of mm -hmm. guess those and stuff. My number two would be Fast and Furious Four, whatever the fuck this is called. I don't know the real Fast name. Fast and Furious. Yeah, yeah, Fast and Furious. <laughs> Yeah, I, I liked it because it was still down to earth, and mm -hmm. it just brought them all back from. And it was a good palate cleanser from what fuck, fucking Tokyo Drift, yeah. which I hated. Yeah, and shit. yeah, 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 for sure. And I'm like, okay, finally they're bringing back their original cast and doing some more grounded shit than mm -hmm. what we've got later on in this franchise. Mm -hmm. And like they did that cartel shit. And I'm, I love cartel. Movies, yeah, so. me too. I mean, uh, Sicario and mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah, cartel stuff's cool. And still, cool. while at the same time keeping street racing and as a part of it. Yes. Stuff. Well, they didn't really street race. They had that one scene where like, we need a car. Start the street racing, yeah. and it's over. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Maybe I don't give a fuck about racing no more. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so that part was good and then I think we both got the same number one though. At yeah, all. my number one is Fast and Furious Five. Mm -hmm. I mean, guys, you, you, what you gotta remember is uh, the trailer. When the trailer dropped, it was the Rock's voiceover and he's just talking about a commando of a team. This was a, what a a year mm -hmm. after G.I. Joe I think so. came so, out. So people were probably thinking like, oh, this is the next yeah, G.I. Like, Joe. Yeah, I'm like, whoa, what is this the next G.I. Joe? Well, besides the fact you see the trailer and say it's fast. Yeah. <laughs> fast oh, no, no, but I mean, when I saw the trailer in theater. Yeah. I think that's probably the first time I saw the trailer was in theater. So I'm like, whoa, what movie is this? And, um, you know, and then The Rock's like, you know, whatever you do, you know, you can't let them get in their cars. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and then, you know, you see the team, you're like, oh my goodness, this looks like it's going to be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like it was cool. It, it was cool. awesome. It was like an Ocean's Eleven, Fast and Furious, The Rock Gang coming in. Yeah. yeah, they were just all over each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like, man, it's, it came together very nicely. Yeah, um, and it was like the perfect meal between all the ridiculous shit they got into later yeah, on in the franchise and the street races. Well, that that Steven doing. Soderbergh wit to it. Mm -hmm. You know, like that, um, that, that's why I say Ocean's Eleven. Uh, he did the remakes, 11, 12, and 13. And I just had that level of crispness mm. that the other films just never reached. Yeah. Uh, whether they were going for more dumb fun or going for more just like crazy action set pieces yeah. or whatever. But um, this one just, it really came together in, in uh, Fast Five. Yeah. yeah. And I don't care how unlogical it is for that fucking safe thing mm -hmm. to go. That, that shit was badass. Oh, that was That's cool, safe. dude. Because um, they spent a lot of time with those police cruisers, with mm -hmm. those with those Dodge uh, ch Chargers. chargers yeah, thing, they spent a lot of time with those Dodge Chargers, and so you got they, they became sort of characters in a way yeah. for the film, and that was nice. Look, that was the half of the movie, just them trying. Yeah, to them tracing, it. and that's what was cool about it. They were going through the streets, and um, they still had a street. They had street racing there yeah. too, with the cop cars and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, for sure. Uh, they had, that the entire crew. Is in Fast Five too. That's mm -hmm. what I love. Even the and, Dominicans that nobody fucking remember. And we got the best <laughs> song ever Which out of one? that movie. Da Sacuduro. Yeah, <laughs> that it came out of Fast Five. No, you didn't like the Wiz Khalifa song. No, I didn't. <laughs> it was sad. It made me cry. And I don't like to cry. No, Da Sacuduro. Yeah, <laughs> best song out of the whole series. Yeah, that's our both our number one is of course Fast Five. But hey, that's just our high opinion. What we're gonna know is how did you guys rank the Fast and Furious joints? Yeah, if you have any questions or opinions, grind them up in the comment section so we can help you get your mind right. Go ahead and put you guys' rankings 1 through 9 down there. And if you haven't seen Hobbs and Shaw, maybe just do 1 through 8, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, as always, too, remember, hit that like button, share the video, and also hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And be a part of Blaze Crew where we get highs of kite off of everything movie related. I'm Kay. And I'm A.Dot Rick. Hey, don't burn off real quick. You gotta blaze it first.